in one of the first meetings I ever had with the marketing department, I had done a logistic regression model and I showed up with all my slides and I had all of the formulas for all the logistic regression and how to derive all the coefficients. And of course I lost them in the first like five minutes. I completely <laughs> lost the audience and it was, it was a lesson that I had to learn. Um, and then I had to repeat the meeting one week uh, down the line uh, and then this time I had no formulas <laughs> in my slides anymore and I just mm -hmm. kind of had like inputs outcomes and this is why it matters for you and, and it's a very important learning that no one told mm -hmm. me and um, I had to go through it uh, to, yeah. to, to, to really learn it for the future. Yeah. Not completely, you almost lost me there for a couple of minutes. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, so what, what do data scientists really do? <laughs> That's a very, that's a very, very good question. Uh, and actually, when I was preparing for this podcast, uh, I had a look at my to do list and my diary meetings for the past uh -huh. month or so, uh, trying to, you know, collect data and draw conclusions because I'm a data scientist and that's what I do. Um, but actually, you know, when I when I took a step back and I kind of sat down, I was like, Marta, please stop being daft. You know exactly what your job is. Your job is to solve problems. And that's what data scientists do. We solve problems. Um, we use data and we use maths as our tools. Um, and you probably won't find two data scientists that have the same, you know, skill set or fields of expertise, mm -hmm. but our jobs are still the same. Uh, it, and the job is to solve problems there's a huge democratization of knowledge so you can pretty much learn whatever it is that you want to learn whenever you want to learn it um, and the consequence of that is that anyone can spin up a cluster uh, and train a neural, a neural network um, from the comfort of their own home in little to no time and don't get me wrong I think this is great for data science as a discipline uh, the applications are endless and we are seeing a lot of innovation and a lot of, of people contributing to these open sourced libraries and really really smart stuff coming through but we as a discipline we haven't had the time to to mature and to self uh, regulate and uh, I, I know that Scotland has just released the uh, Scotland's AI strategy, which has, you know, a very big focus on trust and transparency. But until we have more regulation, we as practitioners, we have an obligation uh, and we should be asking ourselves um, just because we can. Does that mean that we should? Uh, meaning that just because I can train a very complex neural network with uh, hundreds of layers and millions of parameters, should I be looking first into a simple, simpler and more explainable solution? 